Good day, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. So today we will solve another absolute value equation. So here I go. Say solve three, absolute value of three minus two X is equal to absolute value of three X minus one. If we get rid of the absolute value on the left-hand side, we get three minus two X and uh, let me erase this. So we get either uh, 3 minus 2x is equal to 3x minus 1 or 3 minus 2x is equal to minus 3x minus 1. Now you ask me why, why it is minus on the right hand side of the equal to sign. Because think about it, if you take the absolute value, the minus sign will disappear and it will become 3x minus 1. So let's solve this equation then. Uh, the easy way to do it is to add 1 on both sides. So we get 4 minus 2x equal to 3x. Then add 2x on both sides. So we get plus 2x and minus 2x cancels. 4 is equal to 5x. Now divide by 5 on both sides. We get x, 5 and 5 cancels, is equal to 4 over 5. Now please do not quit at this point. Please watch this video until the end where I'll give you, give you an important hint and tip. And please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, where I've solved all kinds of algebra problems in the playlist, Algebra Problems. So please uh, keep watching till the end of this video. It's not a long video. So what about this right-hand side? So in the right-hand side, we get 3 minus 2x. I distribute the minus sign inside the parenthesis. It's minus 3x. And two minuses make it a plus one. Okay. So I can subtract one on both sides. So three minus one is two. Two minus two x is equal to one minus one cancels. And I'm left with minus three x. Okay. So I can add two x on both sides now. So 2 is equal to, now minus 3x plus 2x, or like 2 minus 3, I cannot do that, it's 3 minus 2, but I'll keep the negative sign, which is in front of the larger number, minus 1. Now 3 minus 2 is 1, but in algebra, we just write uh, minus 3 plus 2 as minus x. Or x is equal to minus 2, okay? So what is the solution set for this equation? Solution set is four fifth comma minus two. The important tip I wanted to give you is that when you have absolute value in an equation, you have to consider both the positive and the negative positive values, as I did in this problem. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button. In my channel, Math Science Topia, I've solved all kinds of algebra problems inside the playlist, algebra problems. So I'll stop here today. See you.